Today I'm going to show you how to wash your brushes. But firstly, why should you wash your brushes? Well, brushes, especially if you're using them every day, can get clogged up, just the same way your skin would. So imagine if you're putting your foundation on with your fingers every day, you'd wash your hands, wouldn't you? Because you get oil on your fingers, and it's just exactly the same with your brushes. And um, I prefer using brushes to the fingers because I think it is more hygienic. But it's only more hygienic if you wash your brushes. I'd recommend washing your brushes about once a week, depending on how many times you've got on makeup a week. Give your brushes a spot clean every day after you've used them just to take away any dirt that may get clogged up and cause bacteria. So now I'm going to show you how to wash your brushes. So today I'm going to show you how to wash your makeup brushes. The first thing you can do is just every day do a spot clean. So a spot clean, it doesn't clean your brushes thoroughly, but it cleans them enough just so you can use them the next day. So I'm going to do a little spot clean with a foundation brush here. And I'm just going to rub it on a makeup wipe just in circular motions and you can see a little bit of dirt's coming off already. So that's just something you should do every day when you've used your makeup brushes. But of course it's not taking all the dirt off. So once a week at least, depending on how often you use your makeup brushes, you need to do a proper thorough clean. So what I'm going to do is just run a tiny bit of water. Make it kind of look warm, you don't want it to be too hot because it will damage the bristles and it will damage the ferrule, which is the aluminium part. So now that you've ran a little lukewarm bit of water, just take your brush and dip it in. Be very careful not to get the silver part, the ferrule, wet. If you get the silver part wet, then it can damage the ferrule itself and means it could rust and also you can damage the glue that holds the bristles in which means it could dissolve. So next I'm just going to take the shampoo I have in my bathroom currently which is Aussie Miracle Moist and just squirt a tiny bit onto the palm of my hand. Just a tiny blob is all you'll need. And then I'm going to take my wet brush and just run it again in circular motions. I'd recommend this cleaning method for your blusher brushes, your concealer brushes, as it really gets the dirt off. You can see already if I just give that a little bit of a rinse, that is taking quite a lot of the foundation off. Now sometimes as foundations and lipsticks, things like that, that kind of have a greasy formulas and oily formulas, the soap and the shampoo alone won't take off. So what you need to do then is just take some olive oil and just spray it onto your hand again. So now you've got a little oily hand. Again, just take your brush and go around in circular motions. Now don't worry that if you've already got oily skin it might break out in spots or anything because we're going to wash it again with the shampoo. This is just if you have really really stubborn brushes that you don't feel it getting very clean. So again just wash that off. Take a tiny bit of your shampoo from your hand again. It's important not to use um, colour shampoos or blonde shampoos especially because they have a little bit of bleach in them or any kind of stripping shampoos. The best shampoos to use are very gentle shampoos, very moist shampoos and baby shampoos ideally. So again, just wash that off in the palm of your hand, give it a little bit of a rinse and run the tap. That should be your brush perfectly clean. Now just take a little bit of tissue and kind of pinch. You never pull and never rub. Just pinch very gently to just take any excess water off. And then you can just leave the foundation brush 
on the side like that. And that's how you wash your brushes.